The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized for two Mr. minutes. Chairman, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker and, and uh, Mr. Royce. Thank you for the time. I am pleased that the House is debating HCON Resolution 105. I want to thank the Republican leadership for working with Mr. Jim McGovern, Barbara Lee, and myself and our staff to get this language so that we could debate it today. As James Madison said, the power to declare war, including the power of judging the causes of war, is fully and exclusively vested in the legislature. Unfortunately, we in Congress have for too long abdicated our constitutional responsibility to authorize the use of military force. This began for me personally with my vote for the 2002 authorization for the use of military force against Iraq, which is one of the biggest regrets during my tenure of Congress in voting for that. With that vote, we gave up our constitutional authority on one of the most important decisions a member of Congress can make, the decision to send American men and women into war to possibly die. Mr. Speaker, it is, Madam Speaker, it is my hope that one day we, as Congress, in Congress, will repeal the 2001 and the 2002 AUMF. Until that time comes, I believe that today represents a strong step toward reclaiming the constitutional power that we each have and are trusted with to make decisions about going to war or declaring war. I cannot emphasize enough that no decision is more important for a member of Congress than a vote to send young men and women to fight and to die for our country. The main text of this resolution is simple. The President shall not deploy or maintain United States armed forces in a sustained combat role in Iraq without specific statutory authorization. Madam Speaker, this is what Madison meant when he said, the power to declare war, including the power of judging the causes of war, is fully and exclusively vested in the legislature. May I have 30 more seconds, Mr. Chairman? I will yield the gentleman uh, another 30 seconds. Thank you. Gentleman, another minute, Madam Speaker. The legislature is us, the Congress. This is a monumental step toward reclaiming our constitutional authority. In closing, I want to thank Representative McGovern, Lee, and all my friends in both parties who have fought with me for the right of Congress to declare war. For years, we have been calling for a debate on the floor of the House with regard to the use of our military. I also want to thank Chairman Royce and Ranking Member Engel and their staffs for this opportunity today. May God continue to bless our troops, their families, and may God continue to bless America.